I'm Shepard Ferry. I'm a fine artist, street artist, activist. I'm known for my Obey campaign, the Hope poster for Barack Obama, the We the People posters for the Women's March. And I'm here in New York City launching my first ever art show VR experience called Damaged. It was put on uh, about a year ago in Los Angeles in a warehouse space uh, with installations including a billboard, murals, sculptures, a working printing press. It was my most ambitious show and it was only up for one month. Unfortunately, most art shows, if they're not seen in person during that small window of time that they're there, then the only way to see them is to see still images. So fortunately, I met the gentleman from VRT Ventures who were sufficiently impressed with my installation to think that it was worth capturing in VR because it wasn't a traditional white wall show. The space itself was really, really important. So VRT laser mapped the entire space over the course of a few nights and spent 10 months working on this app that is by far the most detailed art app that's ever been created. Of course, I think that everyone should experience art in person, but for all the people around the world that couldn't come to the show, that this has been preserved with such detail so richly, really something that aligns with my philosophy as a, a, a populist wanting to democratize art. Just how spectacularly the experience can be recreated through VR is the wave of the future. I think that it's visceral and a lot of artists are trying to do things that recreate the feeling of the work in context, you know. I definitely think that the other layer to VR and AR and art is that artists are going to be thinking about how their work is going to not only live in the real world, but how it can actually be pushed further in the virtual world as an art piece in and of itself is something that's very exciting for artists. It's gonna bring more people into being art fans when it's that accessible. Because I think it's a bit intimidating for a lot of people to go to a gallery or a museum in the first place, but everyone loves tech. So it's a, it's a gateway that I think is, uh, is really powerful for the medium I value. I know a lot of artists who, they really embrace new technology. At, at, at a certain point, someone in a cave decided to not use a bloody elbow to make the image, but to put some uh, hairs on the end of a stick. And someone said, that's not keeping it real, that's cheating. But someone else said, I'm making a better painting with this. And I think that's what's going to be happening with VR. So uh, yeah, on to the next wave.